the teachings of Xuan um, have also a, 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 an exclusive aspect that is they, they, they contribute to reject and to criticize uh, modern misconceptions of, of and errors. And I would take two examples. The first one in his book uh, Stations of Wisdom, there is a beautiful chapter enti entitled Orthodoxy and Intellectuality, in which he shows very clearly that uh, the modern antinomy, the modern opposition between orthodoxy on the one hand, which is often equated with uh, narrowness of mind, uh, dogmatism, uh, lack of creativeness, and so on and so forth, and on the other hand, um, intellectuality, which is often equated nowadays with um, a sense of um, freedom, uh, individualistic freedom, uh, individual inquiry, and so on and so forth, that this opposition actually is not founded in reality, because in reality, orthodoxy is a kind of collective intelligence, a kind of collective mode of, a mode of collective intelligence. Um, and as for intellectuality in a true sense, it is not just a mental game. It is, in the higher sense, a mode of receptivity to universal intelligence, to what Xuan would call the intellect. Xuan wrote uh, in this connection that uh, the re revelation uh, are like outer intellections, whereas intellection is a kind of inner revelation. So if one understands this correlation between revelation and intellection, one can understand that orthodoxy, which is the conformity to revelation, is not at all uh, contradictory with inte intellectuality, which is a conformity to the intellect. These are the two sides of the same reality, in a sense. So this is the first error. A second, a second misconception would have to do with uh, the idea that you find somewhere that spirituality is, has to be a kind of destruction of the, of the human self, a kind of dehumanization, so to speak. And uh, Xuan addresses this, 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 this problem, this error rather, in, uh, in, a, in a variety of places in highlighting the fact that one must clearly distinguish between the divine self which is the, 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 the substratum, the, the self of all, and the individual subject, that there is a kind of, dis, a kind of uh, difference of level between the two, and that the, the human self as, as such can never become, of course, the divine self. So the, the human self has a right to existence, so to speak. All that the human self has to do is to uh, stop being opaque vis-à-vis -vis the divine light to speak. So far from being a destruction or dehumanization, the spiritual path is in fact a death of what, uh, what St. Paul would call the old man and a, a, a birth or rebirth of the true individual self as it, is, as, it, as it was created and wanted and wished by God, in fact. So um, these are two examples, I think, which are very, very eloquent about the, the ability of Xuan to address errors, misconceptions uh, in the modern outlook, but also in, 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 um, in, um, on the spiritual contemporary stage.